the, there's like a ritual for doing this. So and then so every uh, every pilgrim goes and helps out every other pilgrim in cleaning out their land. Yes. And when you say and cleaning, this is some sort of ritual purification or or making it sacred or. No, I mean like literally, like literally just cutting off. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Plants. Pre preparing yeah. <laughs> the ground. Yeah. 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 That. I'm sorry. Yeah. Preparing the ground. Yeah. And. Uh, after you do that, you eat peyote. Sometimes you go to someone's land, prepare it, have some peyote, and go to someone else's land on the same day, prepare it, and have some more peyote. And it's a very, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, because everyone's helping out each other. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's this big party called Hikurineva which means the dance of peyote and that's when that's the party that or the celebration that marks the ending of the pilgrimage season and you and everyone has peyote but it's prepared in a special way it's ground and with some water so you have this delicious smoothie of the okay. and then dance for two, two nights and then two days. Yeah, and, and you can only have the peyote that was brought from that year's pilgrimage. And then would everyone take part in that? Would everyone take that within the center? Yeah, everyone uh, involved and willing, yeah. And, and what's the youngest that people take peyote? Well, I've been... I, gone on pilgrimage with children that are like seven years old and uh, some Maracanes have told me that yeah that's the age when they first had peyote one of them told me the first time I had it was when I was yeah six or seven and my grandfather and his grandfather gave it to him for him to be like energetic and help the grandfather work the land wow. so some they had it not just for the well, it's sacred to work the land as well, no? but not for this uh, ceremonial. Work. The thing with these guys is that everything's sacred and everything's ceremonial.